afternoon, welcome to Maths Live. And um, we've got Sharia and Amelia and Sam and Harry and Hattie watching. Hello everybody, I'll do some more shout outs in a second. So recapping maths from yesterday, I would like to try and convert uh, these maths conversion problems. So we've got 0.6 kilograms, how many grams is that? 3,250 grams, how many kilograms is that? And then a tricky one, 0.004 kilograms, how many grams is that? Give that a go and I'll be back in a second. Well, not a second, I'll give you a minute at least. Let's have a look. We've got Harnick and Coventry, hello. We've got uh, Aoife. Oh, Harry's already got some answers. Wow, all the answers coming in. Brilliant. Amazing. Hi, Vicky, Aidan, and Owen in Haverhill. Hello. Oh, I'm going to try and read this. So, hi, Robbie in Conduit Primary in Combinald. I hope I pronounced that right. Welcome, Robbie. Hi, James and Mansfield. Welcome back. See if I just get, let's do 20 more seconds. Oh, here comes a couple few more answers. Ah, here we go. Hello, Ethan. Hello. Right, so we'll just do these challenges and then we'll move on to our last measure topic of the week. So, oh, and sorry if it's a bit noisy outside. They're cutting the grass, so it's a bit noisy. Right, let's have a look. So 0.6 kilograms is how many grams? So we've got to remember that there's a thousand grams equals one kilogram, okay? So, proper noisy, it's got the leaf blower outside, <laughs> typical. <laughs> so if a thousand grams is one kilogram, um, looking down here, if we've got 3,250 grams, that must mean that there's at least three kilograms. I can't believe he's decided to blow the leaves at this time. <laughs> 3.25 kilograms. So for this one it's 3.25 kilograms. Now 0.6 kilograms is how many grams? That is 600 grams. Okay 0.6 kilograms is not one not, it's not onto a thousand because it's less than one whole kilogram, so that's 600 grams. And I need lots of room for this one. So, 0 0.004 kilograms is how many grams? Okay, to get from one kilogram to a thousand grams, you need to times it by a thousand. Okay, so we need to times our 0 0.004 by a thousand. Okay, so remember if you're times it by a thousand, the decimal point jumps to the right. So, and, it's, and because there's three zeros, we need to jump it three times. So one, two, three, but well, our decimal point is now here. So we can get rid of all those zeros, we don't need them. So the answer is four, so it's four grams. There we go. I saw that a lot of you got that answer right, so that's brilliant. Now then, last topic for the week, capacity. And capacity is to do with liquid, how much liquid, um, how a capacity of liquid in, say, a milk bottle or uh, a glass or a cup. So capacity is to do with liquid. And there's, uh, again, oh, do you remember measure on Tuesday when we had millimetres and centimetres and metres and kilometres? And yesterday, obviously, we had grams and kilograms. Today, it's really nice again because we just have milliliters and liters. And our first question on the challenge questions was, how many milliliters is one liter? And it is a thousand. A thousand milliliters equals one liter. Okay, you have to go away and do, um, while I remember, a good way to understand all these different measurements and sizes, the 
best place to go is your kitchen because you'll if you're not in year six yet you'll get a question that will say right um so and so's got a can of coca-cola or a can of i don't know or, or a small bottle of juice and it'll give you like different options as to how much might be in that can or that juice box it might say 30 milliliters it might be 300 milliliters it might be 3000 milliliters and you've got to have this prior knowledge of how much that could be and i always say to people that i choose to go into your kitchen and look at how what different objects weigh or um or, or have different capacities so for example like a bag of flour how much does that weigh uh, a bottle of um, coca-cola or a bottle of um juice orange juice or squash how much is in that bottle um for example oh, i'm trying to think a uh, bag of sugar how much does that weigh the little jars you get that um have got herbs and spices in how much is in there a pot of yogurt how much is that just having that prior understanding of how much capacity and how much measurement all those different things in your kitchen take up is so so important get a measuring jug out okay get a measuring jug and see like how much is in the jug what is the top that the jug goes to what is half of the jug so i totally recommend this weekend with your parents permission go through the kitchen and have a look like how much how much is a packet of crisps how many grams is a packet of crisps do you actually know big packet little packet packet of jelly beans get this understanding and it will really really help you further up in the school and, in, and into um high school okay anyway back to capacity a thousand milliliters is one liter i just wanted to say that while i remembered therefore three thousand milliliters must be three liters okay if 1000 milliliters is one liter then 3000 milliliters is three liters what if we've got 7.4 liters how many milliliters is that okay now if you notice to get just like yesterday to get from liters to milliliters you need to times it by a thousand okay now you can see there's seven whole litres, 7.4. So there must be at least 7,000 millilitres. And then we've got the four afterwards, which means 0.4. So it's 7,400 millilitres, okay? What if we've only got 27 millilitres? Ooh, how many litres is that? Now, if you're going the other way and you're going from millilitres back to litres, that means we need to divide by a thousand. So what's 27 divided by a thousand? Here's our hidden decimal point. And if we're dividing by a thousand, we need to do three jumps. There's one, there's two, and that's where the decimal point currently is. And there's the third one. So the decimal point is there. So it's 0.27. Okay, 0.27 li um, litres, so well, hang on, is 27, sorry, 0.027, I forgot that extra one, didn't I then? <laughs> 0.027 litres is 27 millilitres. And you can actually see, can you see there's four digits there as well? Okay, if you're comparing litres and millilitres, okay, you want there to be the four digits. Let's try another one. I'm going to just keep doing them just to help you prepare if you're going into year six. If you're in year six, to help you revise. Uh, let's think for another number. 350 millilitres. How many litres is that? Right. Think about it. If millilitres, if 1,000 millilitres is one litre, there isn't 1,000 millilitres there, is there? So it has to be naught point but then we've got a hundred milliliters so it's naught point three five you could say zero if you wanted to or you could say naught point three five liters they're both the same answer you don't actually need the zero there okay try another one the other way around what if you've got a lot of liters what if you've got say 15 liters 
15 litres, so you might have um, like a really, really, really like big uh, carton of, I don't know, uh, water. You know, these really heavy, massive cartons of water that you can get. So what if you've got 15 litres, okay? To remember, if you want to get from litres to millilitres, you need to times it by a thousand. So times it by 1,000, 15 times by 1,000 is 15,000 millilitres. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot. Okay. What if we've got, let's try another small amount of millilitres. What if we've only got, uh, fifth, I'll say 15 millilitres. Okay, so I know this is the hardest one when you've only got a small amount of millilitres and you, you know that your litres is going to be even smaller. Again, we need to divide this by a thousand because to get to millilitres to litres we need to divide by a thousand. So, 15. Here's our decimal point. Remember in a whole number the decimal point is hidden to the right of it. And when we're dividing by a thousand, we need to do three jumps. So there's our first jump, and the decimal point is now there. Here's our second jump, and the decimal point is now there. So it's currently 0 0.15 there. And here's our third jump. The decimal point is now there. And we've got our zero. So the answer. I get rid of all these jumps now, is 0 0.015 litres. So 15 millilitres is 0 0.015 litres. Okay, we are going to have some challenge questions just like those, so we will be getting able to practice them. Right, what were the three challenge questions? We know what the first one was, how many millilitres are in a litre? We've done that one, so we'll just go on to question two, question three. So question two was, how many litres, how many litres is in 6,520 millilitres? And the third question was a word problem. I like this word problem. <laughs> it's took me a while to think of. A garden pool, so a garden pool, like a pool that you swim in, a garden pool contains a thousand litres of water. So a garden pool contains a thousand litres of water. It's a big, big amount. I'm just going to change my pen. When James jumps into the pool, he obviously splashes a load of water out. So when James jumps in, When James jumps in, 1,335 millilitres splashes out. How much water is left? How much water is left in the pool? Are my pens going to survive till next week? I don't think so. I think I need to buy some more whiteboard pens. So, the three challenge questions. We already know how many millilitres are in a litre. So the second one, how many litres are in 6,520 millilitres? And the question, third question, the word problem is, a pool contains a thousand litres, litres of water. James jumps in and 1,035 millilitres splashes out. How much water is left in the pool? Be very careful with this last question because it might trick you. Oh, right. <laughs> We've already got some answers. Okay. Question two. You all seem to have the very similar question to question two, which is brilliant. Oh, and some people have got question answer for question three. Oh, 
well, I'm just going back through your comments through when I was doing the examples. Really great joining in. That's amazing. Well done. If you forget, I was at the top, how many milliliters to milliliter to the very top of the whiteboard? Oh, wow, look at these answers. <laughs> Hi, Oliver in Essex. Oh, it looks like we've all got similar answers for the second part. That's always good. It's always nice when you put your answer and someone else has got the same answer and you're like, oh, I could be right. Right, how many litres are in 6,520? 6.52. If you put the zero on as well, that's fine, but you don't need to. Okay, 6.52 litres. Right, let's have a look at this. So the pool contains a thousand litres. Okay, and we are subtracting 1,035 millilitres. We're subtracting it because that's how much has left the pool. Now immediately I'm going to change this into litres so that we're using the same conversion. So this is actually one, oh, doing that, one, 0 0.035 litres and this is what I need to subtract now it's quite tricky because you've only got one litre here we've got a thousand litres here so here's trick to doing it first of all I would subtract that one litre from a thousand and that would leave you with 999 litres okay and then what you need to subtract is the 0 0.35. So it will be, so subtract um, 0.35. Okay. Can you see? Because you've already subtracted the one, that's gone, and then you've got 0 0.35 left to subtract 0 0.35 okay you can't do this you can't do this you can't do this you need to go all the way to the nine told you this is a tricky question you go all the way to this nine you say hey make yourself one less put one here and then this one says hey make yourself one less put one here and then this one says hey make yourself one less put one here and now we can do it 10 take away 5 is 5, 9 take away 3 is 6, and then we can do 9 take away 0, which is 9, and then we've got 8, 9, 9. So it's 998.965 litres is left. Let's have a look. Yay! Brilliant! Well done, fantastic. You did so well on that. It's a tricky, tricky question. That's really demanding of your subtraction skills. Okay, let's try some three challenge questions. I promise they won't be as hard as that one. That's really what it's pushing. Right, I'm gonna obviously cover the board up so everyone's got a, ch ch a chance to go at the same time. So, there's number one, number two. And number three. Ready, steady, go. Brilliant, well done, scrolling back and having a look. Hi Owen, hello, welcome back. I don't know if I said hello to Lachlan, he's so busy working. <laughs> Hi Mala in Bahrain, you're joining us again, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, 
got some answers coming in. You guys are quick. Okay, I'll just give you 30 seconds. is a thousand millilitres, eight litres must be eight thousand millilitres. Well done. Again, if a thousand millilitres is one litre, four thousand millilitres must be four litres. Perfect. And if one litre is a thousand litres, then thirteen litres must be thirteen and then two with the zero on. Thirteen thousands but you've got the two as well so don't forget that well done last three challenges oh what color on it green okay there's number one Number two, and last question. Always a challenge, the last one. There we go, 400 millilitres is how many litres? 0 0.06 litres is how many millilitres? And just 13 millilitres, how many litres is that? <laughs> I love that, I forgot to type the other zero, that's great, it's fine. Are they a bit faint? I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some new ball pens this weekend. Let's go over them, sorry. 400 millilitres, 0 0.06, and then 13 millilitres. Hope that's a bit better, sorry guys. Gosh, answers already. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Got some different answers to just check. Okay, so let's have a look. So, yeah, 0 0.4 litres for the first one. Okay, so 400 millilitres is 0 0.4 litres, well done. And then 0 0.06 litres, how many millilitres is that? What do we think? Is it just six on its own? No, it's 60. Let's see who got that. Let's have a look. Yeah, well done. 60 millilitres. And the last one, I'm just going to take a little bit more space up with because I want to demonstrate it properly. So 13 millilitres, how many litres is it? So 13 
And remember, if we're going from millilitres to litres, we need to divide by a thousand. So you need to do three jumps. Remember, the decimal point is hidden there. So there's our first jump, and the decimal point goes there. Here's our second jump, and the decimal point goes here. Now we've got a zero getting involved, and here's our third jump, and the decimal point is now there. So it's naught point naught one three litres, a very, very small amount. Brilliant, well done. I'm just going to say it again. Please, parents, parents, if you're listening, if you're in the background, let your children go through the kitchen cupboards um, and, and have a look at the different size and different quantities and different measurements of um, you know, foodstuffs and things like that because it really, really helps their understanding of how much um, everything, different things weigh and how much capacity everything has. It really, really helps. Um, obviously, try the challenge question and I'll be back tomorrow, not live, for a Key Stage 3 lesson, but obviously you can, if you're in Key Stage 2, of, of course you can join in. Um, great, see you soon.